When performing knurling on a lathe, the work can be held in a chuck, collet, or between centers. Knurling causes the material surface to become raised, so if you're using a medium diamond knurling tool, make sure that the workpiece diameter is about 20 thousandths of an inch smaller than the final desired knurl diameter. To begin, set the spindle speed to about 150 RPM. Next, mount the knurling tool perpendicular to the workpiece, making sure that the knurling tool height is set on center. Knurling creates a great deal of pressure, so it's important to make sure that all work holding and tool holding devices are tight before proceeding. Next, set the carriage to a heavy feed rate, such as 15 or 20 thousandths of an inch per revolution. Once the carriage feed has been set, apply cutting fluid to the knurling rolls and the workpiece. Then position the rollers at the knurling area and start the spindle. For a clamp style knurling tool, make sure to position the rollers over the part and in line with the part center line. Start the spindle and use a swift motion to crank the clamping screw until the rollers contact the work. Next, make an additional eighth of an inch of a turn and immediately engage the carriage feed. If you're using a bump style knurling tool, crank the cross slide hand wheel swiftly to bring the rollers into contact with the work. Then turn the hand wheel about another 10 thousandths and immediately engage the carriage feed. As the knurling tool moves across the part, make sure to apply cutting fluid. This reduces friction and flushes away fine metal particles. While feeding, never allow the knurling tool to feed off the end of a knurled diameter more than half of the roller width. Once you've reached the end of the area you're knurling, stop the spindle. Next, clean the fluid and flakes from the part with a brush and check the appearance of the knurls. On most workpieces, the knurl shape is required to come to a full point. In some cases, it may be necessary to apply more pressure and reverse the feed direction, allowing the knurling tool to make one or more additional passes in order to achieve the proper form. However, try to use as few passes as possible to form the full knurl. Each pass and brittles the work, which could adversely affect the appearance of the knurls.